Hi, I'm Lady Genevieve, and I am back once again for a new Dickinson review. This time I will be briefly talking about next week's episode, episode 4, which is entitled This Is My Letter to the World. If you have been keeping up with my weekly reviews and broader coverage of Dickinson season 3, then you know that there is a list of don't spoil talking points that journalists are not supposed to share ahead of the various episodes airing. However, just like episode 3 of this season, Episode 4 didn't have anything specific listed. Full disclosure though, that doesn't mean I'm going to just give everything away ahead of it airing. That is not how I do things here. If you are a more casual fan of Dickinson, I don't think anything I'm hinting at will give away specifics, but if you are a more avid fan of the series and you keep up with as many interviews and reviews as possible, whether in print or video form, then this episode is harder to preview without you being able to line it up with things that have already been discussed in interviews with people from the show, so make of that what you will. The first order of events is to share a song from the episode so you can stream it, add it to your playlists, however you consume your music. By the way, quick unsolicited sidebar, when it comes to the music industry, if you really want to support certain artists, especially the less established ones, buying one of their songs through something like iTunes gives them more of a profit than streaming their song a bunch of times on streaming platforms. I'm certainly not pressuring you to spend money you don't have to spare, but it's just some food for thought if you have the disposable income to do so. The song I will be sharing from episode 4 is called One More Time. No, it's not the one by Daft Punk, it's by Robin Schulz and Felix Jan, which I don't know how to pronounce correctly because I don't speak German. And the song is also featuring Alita. The song's music video will be linked in my description box, so feel free to check it out. It's a clubby bop that I had playing on a loop while I was writing the reviews for these videos. Now on to some brief previewing for this week's episode. Episode 4 will finally introduce viewers to Colonel Higginson and start to immerse us in Henry's story for this season. This is really exciting for me. If you watched my general review for season 3 that I filmed several weeks ago, you will know that there was very little that I previewed, but one of the things that I did share was that I really like Henry's story this season, so I'm really looking forward to the show finally getting into more of the specifics of that, so we will be able to talk about it each week for the remainder of the season. I also said in that review that Colonel Higginson is like the personification of white guilt, and it was a real treat to re-watch this episode because I was very entertained by how his lines have been written and how they are performed. I won't elaborate on that, you will just have to watch it, it's very entertaining. Chinaza Uche, the actor who portrays Henry, does does a fantastic job and it's a real treat getting to watch him shine more as a performer. With each season he's been given even more to do and it's great to watch what he brings to Henry as a character but also the larger story that he has with all of its socio-political aspects. That has consistently been a high point for me as a viewer, and I'm glad to see that the momentum has continued to grow over the series. The broader ensemble of characters offer up a wide array of emotional tones in this episode, which is impressive as always because it means that viewers get to experience varied storytelling even when the episodes are only half an hour long. I don't want to specify which characters are presenting which tone, but rest assured, I will have plenty to say, even about the characters that don't have as much screen time in this episode. By far though, the highlight of this episode is Emily herself. It shouldn't be all that surprising since she is the protagonist of the story, the entire series is named after her. I don't know if the show will be posting any promotional material for episode 4 before it's released. I couldn't really remember if last season they would share either promotional photos or even a short video clip of the episodes before before they came out, but feel free to let me know in the comments what Apple TV does in regards to that so I'll be able to be aware of how much gets revealed ahead of things airing. I feel like the main reason I'm aware of early promotional material being a thing for Dickinson is that I could have sworn that last season there was a picture of Emily and Sam released before that episode where she imagined being with him. 
And that was just really funny for me. Not that there was a scene of them kind of hooking up, but the fact that they offered up this glimpse of it in the promo. So then everyone was dreading the inevitable hookup scene. And then it didn't even end up being real. It was just all happening in her mind. A lot of things happen in Emily Dickinson's mind. Anyway, the reason why I'm harping on the idea of promotional previews on an episodic basis is that depending on if they preview anything, from this episode that's coming up and what they show, there is a decent possibility that the more hardcore fans of the series might know some of what's coming in episode four, if they see certain things presented in that promo. One thing that I would add though, is that even if you know the bare bone idea of what's coming in episode four, it is another thing entirely to actually see it played out in full. It just hits differently to hear the full dialogue and the music accompanying various scenes and the emotional impact of the performances. I've looked through some of the profiles of Dickinson fans that follow me on Twitter and then they show up in my notifications. Reminder that I don't see notifications from accounts unless they're following me <laughs> or if I'm following them for that matter. But I can get a bit of a crash course of what Dickinson as a series means to a lot of the fans of the show. The people who have Haley's face as their profile picture, even though they themselves are not Haley Steinfeld. This is a really special episode for those people. It's lovely, it's life affirming, it's good for the soul. And on a less long winded existential note, I just really love what she's wearing in this episode. I don't say that just to fill out the runtime of this video either. I loved it enough that I wrote it down in my notes so that I can bring it up again next week in my spoiler review of this episode. I'm sure that by the time I post this video, the Dickinson fandom will be riding high on emotions about the show finally being back on the air with three new episodes to enjoy. But to be honest, I feel like for the fans who want Emily to get to just vibe without being weighed down by worrying over everyone else's problems, this is the episode for you, episode four, more than any of the first three episodes of season three that you will have just watched. I know that I'm just some random person making review videos of the Dickinson episodes. I'm not one of the people responsible for making the episodes themselves, but I'm genuinely really excited for people to get to watch episode four. It was really fun to revisit it since I had not watched it since the screeners first dropped, what, maybe about a month ago by now. Happy premiere day. If you have not already watched my spoiler review of the Dickinson premiere, be sure to check that out. I will have already published that video before I publish this one. Stay tuned for next week when I will be back with a spoiler review of episode four, when we can celebrate all of the highlights and discuss the layers of the story and the material. If you would like to support what I do on here, a simple like and comment will help me out considerably. That's how YouTube works. It's all about watch time and engagement. And look, you've already made it to the end, so you're halfway there. See you in the next one. Bye.